What's up, everybody? I'm Slot, a movie guy, and here's my movie review of Ghostbusters Afterlife, directed by Jason Reitman, the son of Ivan Reitman, starring McKenna Grace, Paul Rudd, Carrie Coon, Finn Wolfhard, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, when a single mother and her two children move to a new town, they soon discover they have a connection to their original Ghostbusters and the secret legacy their grandfather left behind. I was excited checking this film out because it's a sequel to the original Ghostbusters films, which I was very happy about because I'm a big fan of the Ghostbusters film that came out in 1984. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. It gets better upon rewatch. I mean, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, Ernie Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, The Slimers, Stay Puft, Marshmallow Man. Everything about that movie worked with the comedy of Bill Murray and stuff. Everything, all the paranormal ghost stuff and the comedy, everything about that movie worked like a charm. And I highly recommend checking that film out if you haven't seen it yet. It's definitely worth the watch. Then Ghostbusters 2, 1989. I had some fun with this. Some elements worked for me, but some elements I was like, eh, nah. It just is not better than the original film, but I still had some fun with it and stuff. But it's just not, like, like I said, better than the original film. Then we had the 2016 version with Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, Kay McKinnon, Kristen Wiig and stuff, and directed by Paul Figg and stuff. It, that film mm, just didn't work for me. But hey, if you a big fan of that film, hey, I'm happy for you. For me, it just didn't work. And I'm pretty sure there's people that's in the same boat with me with that film. It's just something about it. Uh, I'll talk about that film in the future. Now, now, it's just not a great film. Now we have Ghostbusters Afterlife and stuff, which is a third film of the of the original two Ghostbusters films and stuff, which I very, I was like I said, I was very happy to, 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 to excited to see the film and stuff. Because in at the around 2010 and 11, we were supposed to have like a Ghostbusters 3 and stuff at the time where all like the with the original cast and stuff that I mentioned from the first film supposed to come back and do it and stuff. The script of some Bill Murray, something like ripped the script. You can look up the history behind it and stuff like that. It was supposed to come out like it was a rumor about it. I don't think it was supposed to come out then, but I think it was a rumor Ghostbusters 3. That didn't that didn't get a chance to happen and stuff like that. So I was like Back then, I was kind of like disappointed. Like, oh, man, I want to see a third Ghostbusters film. Even though number two wasn't as great, but I still want to see the original cast, like, come back. And I don't think it was going to happen because around at the time of 2014, Harold Ramis passed away, which definitely broke my heart. I was just like, oh, man. When I heard the news about it, I was like, man, Harold Ramis passed away. It just, everything about it, I was just like, man, this is like one of my favorite characters from the Ghostbusters films. And I was like, man. So I was just like, kind of like heartbroken from that and stuff. So I was like, this, I guess there's not going to be a Ghostbusters 3. Then later on in recent years, they talk about doing a Ghostbusters film and stuff related to the first two films. So I was like, very excited, but a little bit sad because Harold Ramis is not going to be a part of it and stuff. But then like later on, like, the story elements and stuff saying that's going to like be a story related to him and stuff and a Ghostbusters film. So I was like, okay, I'll give this a chance. And I definitely going to give it a chance because the original director of the first two films, Ivan Reitman, is going to be like the producer of this film. So I was like, okay, this movie looks like it's going to be good and stuff. And then having his son direct the film, Jason Reitman and stuff. So I was kind of was like, maybe this will work and stuff but see this is his son's direct his son's directing this film so i was kind of like hmm how is this gonna be and stuff and i'm pretty sure the movie had to be good and stuff because i mean ivan reitman is gonna be the uh producer of this film so he's kind of gonna make sure his son do everything right that the, the property that he directed so i'm pretty sure he's gonna get it right and stuff and all that. So I've seen the film twice now and I apologize for being late on my review on this film, but man, I really, really enjoyed this film, man. It was spectacular from start to finish, man. Wow, I remember my, my first viewing, I was like, okay, this is a good movie. And the second upon rewatch, I was like, wow, this is a blast, man, from start to finish. It definitely like captured the heart from the original film, everything about it, man. Oh, where do I begin with the positives? Starting off, with the story, man. The story definitely 
was something I was looking forward to. And this was just like everything. I was just like, wow, this is really like a fresh take, even though it captured some of the same nostalgia elements from the original film and stuff. But something about it, it was just fresh. And one of the things I say was fresh about it is it's set in a new in a different location and stuff in Oklahoma. That's the one things I liked about it. I mean, I would have been fine if it was set in New York, but setting it in Oklahoma, that to me felt so fresh and stuff, seeing the ghost paranormal activity, stuff like that around in the way out land of Oklahoma and stuff, the farm and all that, and the house and all that stuff in the town. It's just something about it. I was just like, yes, this is something I'm really looking forward to. So I thought that was really good with the discovery where the mom and the two children discovering one of their family members that was the ghost bus and stuff, discovering all the gadgets and stuff, the vehicle and stuff, what they have done in the past and stuff like that. All that worked so well and stuff. And I love that discovery stuff. That was a part that was so investing in the while I was watching the film and stuff, seeing our main character, Phoebe, played by McKenna Grace and stuff, as she discovered what her grandfather has done and stuff, with the gadgets and stuff. I love that element. Every time that was on screen, I just, like, was eating it up, man. I was just like, yes, give me more, give me more. And we saw her character, and we see the development of her character and stuff, and the film takes its time to show us the character and stuff, to show her where it's her personality and stuff. And I thought that really works well, especially, too, when... She using all the gadgets and stuff as we see her where her new friend and stuff and like that podcast and stuff played by Logan Kim and stuff where he's like with Kate uh, McKenna Grace and stuff as they messing around with the gadgets and stuff like that. And with the paranormal stuff that's going on around the house and stuff and way out in the land. All that stuff really works so well, man. I loved every second of it. Then we see the mother and stuff going around town and stuff as they move into the to the um as she moved into her father's house and stuff and they tell her about her father and stuff the people in the oklahoma town and stuff as they tell her and she's like and she's kind of like discovering it for like for the first time and stuff and that's one of the parts i found that that's very realistic because you know how like when you have like family members and stuff that they have like they left something from like they left something when they passed away and stuff and you look at it and stuff and people talk about this and that and stuff that's what i felt like and stuff and that happened to me before because i mean some of my like my grandparents and stuff that like passed away they left stuff and all that and my parents showed me all of it and i'm like wow so i like that part element that was like very relatable to me so that's why i like related to like mckenna grace character and stuff like that and the family members who's like att attached to um to one of the Ghostbusters members and stuff. So I really thought that really worked well and stuff. And it, the film, like I said, takes its time with our characters and stuff like that with McKenna Grace character. And I thought they did a very well job of doing that, establishing and let us know each character and stuff. Because usually some films usually like go so quick with it. And this film took its time and all that. And I thought that really worked well for the most part in the film. Then adding like Paul Rudd into the mix and stuff when it comes to the Ghostbusters legacy and stuff like that. Him as the middle school teacher and stuff. That definitely helped out the film. I thought that kind of gave the film life and stuff. All that because Paul Rudd's character is kind of very energetic in the film. So I kind of really like that part in the film. So I thought all that works well. Setting in Oklahoma and discovery of it with one of the Ghostbusters member that left all the stuff there in Oklahoma and all that and this stuff in the house and stuff. All that stuff really works well. And the paranormal activity stuff that goes around the house and stuff throughout the film absolutely work. And I thought the story wouldn't have worked if it wasn't for Jason Reitman and stuff and the writers, which he's part of the writing team and stuff. I thought all that really works well, the directing and writing. And Jason Reitman, I can't wait to see him do more films and stuff. If he wants to do other like paranormal ghost films and stuff, let him do it and stuff. And all that with the comedy elements, because he did very well with the hair, his direction and stuff. It just reminded me of Ivan Reitman's. Uh, it, it almost reminded me like what he like what Ivan Reitman would do and stuff. So he definitely kind of did stuff what his father do, and I'm pretty sure the father, since the father was a producer of this film, was looking at this film and stuff, looking and see what he was doing. So I'm pretty sure he was trying to capture the same heart like his father did from the original two films. So. I tell you, the directing and writing worked very well here. So, those like two thumbs up, the story and all that. 
Now the acting performances in this film, I say for the most part, everybody does like some of the members do a fine job here. I wouldn't say their acting performance was like like top notch, like ho like hoopla, fantastic and stuff. Some of it was like okay, fine here and stuff. Like Carrie Coon, she does okay as the mother and stuff in the film. And then the son, Finn Wolf hard and stuff thought he was okay and i don't know much of this actor like that so i'd say he was oh, fine here and stuff and all that but really like the ones that really like stand out for me is mckenna grace she is fantastic as our main character playing phoebe oh my goodness she was great man i really really like this character man i can't wait to see her in future ghostbusters films if they want to continue on doing it man which i'm pretty sure they will she was great you could buy into her as this nerd and stuff and to science and stuff like that and the gadgets protons and all that with the ghostbuster stuff i loved her character she was spectacular on so many levels her performance was really really good and that's one of the things I love when I watch a movie like children actors and stuff and actresses seeing how they perform and stuff because I pretty much know like grown-ups we've seen them so many times see grown-up Ghostbusters and all that seeing them like and or in movies in general see grown-up actors and actresses perform well on screen but let me see child actors see how they do and stuff and she did fantastic on so many levels, man. I related to this character. I cared about this character throughout the film and stuff. She wasn't annoying at all and stuff. I just love this character, especially her friend that plays like podcast, Logan Kim. He was great. I liked him too. I This could have easily been a miss, but hey, it worked for me. I like this character. Can't wait to see him in the future Ghostbusters films. And Paul Rudd, what do I got to say more? I liked him as Ant-Man and other films he had played in. Paul Rudd, it, he's just, he's a very likable character here. I mean, it, he his character didn't feel like a jerk. And I could you I wish we got like a little bit more screen time, but the screen time we got with them was just perfect. I just like Paul Rudd in this movie. It just he it worked on so many levels, man. I, Paul Rudd was great. It's, uh, even though, well, like I said, it wasn't enough screen time, but hey, the screen time he got. It was great and all. So I say, like I said, the performance was great, but McKenna Grace performance stands out above everybody. So I really liked it. So it was good. Practical and CGI effects here. The practical effects and CGI and stuff really was good in this film. I didn't really have like a problem with this stuff. Really like it. Like it really like didn't like like stick out like a sore thumb and stuff. Like one part while like uh I don't think that looked good for the most part it really looked good and stuff from the second viewing when i watched it i paid close attention to it i was like okay it really works well okay i know in the like in the original film sometimes like when it comes to like the practical effects it kind of that didn't like little age well but here it worked fine here so i thought it was good the paranormal spookiness here in the film definitely got me a couple of times there were some elements i was like Hold up, it, this this feels like a complete like a like a horror film and stuff, which that's the whole aspect of stuff when it comes to ghost stuff. But man, Jason Reitman definitely had like spooky elements here. There's some elements I was like, oh, whoa. So I was like kind of like scared a little bit, and then I realized that this is like a little bit kind of had that fun element there to it. So if you're if parents watching, if you think your kids can handle it, there's is some spooky elements there, and that's one of the parts I give the film credit of. It did not like get like was afraid of like going for it and stuff and like that so i was like okay this works so i like it so it got me so i thought that really worked well like i said the spooky elements there it definitely felt like the first original film and stuff so i really like that so now getting on to my negatives and stuff you know i really like love the film but i do have little issues I did mind a character development, but it did, like, take the whole chunk of the film, like, around, this movie's about, like, an hour and 50 minutes, close to a two-hour runtime, and I feel like it did took a while since we developed our characters, it did took a while to get to the real Ghostbusters stuff towards the end, which, it was, it, hey, it really, it worked in the end, it really did work, so, around the end, I won't get any spoilers, but, man, it was just, satisfying there's a couple things in there you will remember from the original film if you have seen the original film so you'll be like wow 
So you'll definitely tear up the in the end and stuff. And that what like the ending stuff you'll get to, like it definitely pays on when you get to the end part, but it does take to like a whole chunk to the get to that part and stuff like wait because it developed our characters and stuff it tried to develop it but it did take a whole chunk and stuff and i felt like comes on like okay this is really getting really a little bit slow and stuff which i did i was okay with but then when it got to around to the second act i was like okay they need to pick up a little bit so i say that's one of the elements then a little bit the nostalgia stuff or fan service or whatever i could tell the the, when Jason Reitman was directing this film, he kind of captured some of the same things a little bit, which I won't get into any spoilers, but some of the same elements from the first film, where I wish he did like a little bit of a fresh take. I didn't mind some of it, but it's some of it you kind of felt like, is this like the first Ghostbusters film? And I kind of could not escape from that a little bit. It was kind of hard for that to like, to, to erase it out of my mind. I was like, I ah, don't... Mm. And that was one of the things and all that. I it was it was fine. The way how they established it toward how they the way they did it in the end, I was like, okay, I understand it. But I kind of wish it was a little bit fresh and stuff. But that's pretty much it. it. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this movie. It was great from start to finish. This film had heart. The characters I liked from it. I really liked Paul Rudd's character, McKenna Grace's character, Logan Kim's character, everything about it. It worked on so many levels. I highly recommend you checking out Ghostbusters Afterlife if you haven't seen it yet. And overall, I'm going to give Ghostbusters Afterlife a B+. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this film. Did you like it or not? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite Ghostbusters film. Let me know all that and stuff. Everything, anything Ghostbusters related. Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button for more future content. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.